this is Dana and welcome to my channel The Orchid Hut. Thank you for taking some of your time today to enjoy one of my orchid videos. This one is going to be about the orchid genus Doritus. Now Doritus orchids have recently been combined with the genus Phalaenopsis. So in recent years all Doritus orchids are being labeled as Phalaenopsis orchids because they have been grouped into that one genus. However, there are some characteristics of Doritus orchids which are notably different than the complex Phalaenopsis hybrids that we find in our grocery store. And I think that there are five Phalaenopsis orchids in my collection that have a good bit of the Doritus genus in their background. And so I want to go through the characteristics of the Doritus orchids because it's kind of curious and interesting to take note of your own orchids, especially if they're not tagged, and you know, consider whether or not they may have some Doritus um, in their background. Okay, so Let's first get started with a little bit about Doritus orchids. And the first thing I think to note that's a bit different than Phalaenopsis is that most of them are terrestrial growers. They are native to Southeast Asia. And in the wild, they would naturally breed with Phalaenopsis orchids. So there are actually many naturalized um, Doritinopsis orchids that occurred in the wild where a Phalaenopsis and a Doritus would um, cross to create a new plant. So in the wild they did, uh, they did breed together to form Doritinopsis. And you will still see some Doritinopsis orchids um, labeled that way if you purchase them. You will still find some Doritus orchids labeled that way, but as time passes, they will all um, be sort of combined with the Phalaenopsis genus. Okay, so the first characteristic of a Doritus orchid is that it is small to medium sized. So like the five orchids you see in front of the camera, they're not the super large Phalaenopsis orchids and they're not the small novelty or mini orchids. They're kind of medium sized, they're in between. And along with being a medium sized plant, they also have medium sized blooms. So again, not the super large Phalaenopsis blooms that you see in supermarket orchids, but not the tiny little blooms either that you see on novelty orchids. They're sort of medium sized in between. And oftentimes, uh, Doritus orchids will have branching spikes. So if you have a no-ID Phalaenopsis that has a branching spike, a branching primary spike, then it probably has some Doritus in its background. Now this is not the same as an original spike developing secondary spikes. That's something different. Okay, and then the fourth characteristic of Doritus orchids is having somewhat of a cornstalk plant shape. So often the leaves are more narrow and elongated. Oftentimes there's a bit more space in between the leaves and the leaves are sort of more opposite of each other. So that's what gives the Doritus orchids this more cornstalk shape. And then the fifth characteristic is that the spikes are often more stiff, more straight, and more upright. And the reason that they're that way is because the terrestrial Doritus orchids developed that adaptation so that their spikes were not laying on the ground. And then the sixth characteristic is that they are often summer bloomers. So they're not affected by the drop in temperature 
or the decreased daylight hours that often trigger Phalaenopsis orchids to begin spiking in November, December, January. They're not affected by that um, change in environment, so they spike, tend to spike a bit later, and you'll see some of my examples later, which makes them summer bloomers. And then finally, the seventh characteristic of Doritis orchids that you might see in your Phalaenopsis is that the lip color is cerise, or a very dark pinkish red color. And um, that characteristic often carried through to uh, many hybrid orchids that have Doritis in their background. All right, so let's have a look at my orchid collection and we'll kind of walk through why I think these orchids have some Doritis in their background. I only have one that is tagged that way and it's the only one that I know for sure has Doritis in its background. So we will start with that one and I'll pull some of these others out of the way temporarily. And this orchid that you see in front of you has many characteristics of the Doritis genus. And it's actually tagged as such. It's a Doritinopsis, DTPS, and so that means that it was a Doritis orchid crossed with a Phalaenopsis, but it does have many Doritis features, and let's walk through those. Okay, so first of all, it is medium-sized. It does have that corn stalk shape with a bit more space between the leaves. This is a first time bloomer for me. I have had this one ever since it was a seedling. It's probably seven or eight years old now, but you can tell that this spike is much more stiff, much more straight growing, um, growing upwards. And as I mentioned earlier, that was an adaptation for Doritis orchids because they didn't want their blooms to be laying on the ground. So this is the only orchid that I know for sure has the Doritis genus in its background, but it does have many of the characteristics. Okay, next one is this medium-sized orchid, and it does have a lip that is pretty close to that cerise color. The bloom is medium sized. It's not small like a novelty, but it's not as large as a Phalaenopsis. Okay, and then the next example is this medium sized orchid. You can see that the leaves are more elongated and narrow. It has that shape of a corn stalk. And this one has branching on the spike. So this is a characteristic of Doritis, so this orchid probably has some of that in its background. Okay, and then the next example is this medium-sized corn stalk-shaped orchid. And this one I know has a yellow bloom from past blooming and it will definitely be a summer bloomer because this spike is just now developing. And I'll put a photo um, of this bloom because it does have that pinkish red lip that is characteristic of Doritis orchids. And then the final example is this medium-sized orchid. And the size of it is more like a Doritis orchid. And then you can see the characteristic reddish pink lip that may have carried forward from a Doritis background. Okay, so have a closer look at your own Phalaenopsis orchids, especially if they are not tagged, and see if you can find some of the characteristics of the genus formerly called 
Doritos orchids. Just something fun to do. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and the subscribe button will be coming in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Talk to you next time.